Tenants of the city saying castries have welcomed a move by government to ease the financial burden brought on by COVID-19. The Department of Housing and Local Government has announced that tenants have been granted reprieve in rent owed to the National Housing Corporation. Minister Honorable Richard Frederick made the announcement Wednesday indicating that the debt forgiveness totals $4.2 million. The government of St. Lucia continues to make good on its promise to deliver to the people of St. Lucia and act in its mantra, putting people first. Minister in the office of the Prime Minister with responsibility for housing and local government, Honorable Richard Frederick, staying the course, announced that tenants of the Colonial Development Corporation, CDC, will be relieved of any outstanding rent owed amounting to some $4.2 million. Minister Honorable Frederick further explained that the government, through the National Housing Corporation, NHC, has considered and agreed that this would encompass all tenants currently occupying the CDC units, whether residential or commercial, up to the end of September 2021. The minister, noting the hardships befalling tenants due to the COVID-19 pandemic, said that the move was necessary. There are only two conditions attached to this gratuitous deed. One, all tenants must pay their rent for the months of October and November. Pay your rent October, November. Once that is done, the good news is all tenants again would get relief for December. So as long as you pay your rent for October and November, no tenant is expected to pay rent in December. Christmas has come early at the hands of this caring government. The other condition is that tenants would have to sign a new lease agreement come January. In January, the government will start afresh and all tenants will be required to sign new leases. I must say that given this reprieve or this waiver, delinquency or non-payment, as we call it colloquially, will no longer be tolerated. Neither will we tolerate subletting. Additionally, to tighten up lease agreements with both residential and commercial tenants, the NHC will ensure that the occupants are the lessees of the units, this in an effort to halt subletting. Two tenant liaison officers will also be employed to ensure a seamless process. As a caring government, we have helped the tenants by relieving them of a total of approximately $4.2 million. The obligation is now on the tenants to help themselves by being responsible tenants. I do hope that this kind of relationship will augur well for the NHC and its tenants. I pause here to say that that reprieve cannot apply to any judgment currently existing. Cynthia Lubin, who has been a residential tenant for some eight years, expressed gratitude for the initiative. I just want to applaud Honorable Richard Frederick for a job well done on behalf of us who lives in the CDC. And also I want to even thank him for the internet he has placed in place for us. I want to thank him. May the Lord continue to bless him and lead him into the right path to continue doing the work he has started for the people in central castries, especially the, those who cannot afford. Commercial tenant Sophia Peter said her business has been hard hit by COVID-19, leaving her cash trapped. As such, she welcomed the move by the government. Since COVID um, came and, you know, things were slow and the, the, other, the last time we were supposed to close all the time, we were always closed and, you know, the people, things not the way it was before. 
you know, we, we were back on, especially me, I was back on my rent. And I really appreciate what the government did. I am so grateful. I am so thankful to God and this government for doing such a wonderful job for us. Because, you know, they said they was going to put people first. And I am very happy that they put the people first and don't think about themselves. Because I know I've, I've think, I thought of it already and I said, you know, for them to remove, I sure it's about how many millions of dollars and for the government to absorb that loss. You understand? I am very grateful for the Prime Minister. I am very grateful to Mr. Frederick for doing, for taking that decision as a, a government, you know, to give us that little, you know, thing. I am grateful and then I am telling the other people, make sure now we could make sure i pray that no more covid covid will go covid will leave saint lucia and we will be able to give them what we can minister honorable richard frederick also disclosed that an assessment is currently being conducted for the vendors arcade and market with an announcement to be made at the soonest from the government information service i am janelle norville